eight most haunted schools in the world. From the haunting grounds of the Salem Witch Trials to horrific child experiments, we count down eight of the most haunted schools ever. Number eight, University of Virginia. After the death of physician Bennett Wood Green in 1913, his huge collection of books were donated to the University of Virginia. The books were put in the Rotunda Library, and soon after, there were apparent ghost sightings. The books remained there until they were sent to the Alderman Library in 1938, and soon, ghost sightings of the doctor were then seen by students and staff at the Alderman Library. Spooky! They claimed to have had a feeling that they were being watched and could hear creeping footsteps throughout the building. In the library, there is another room called the Garnett Room, named after a different beneficiary. That room is also believed to be haunted by Russell Hunter Garnett's ghost. Creepy! Number 7. Salem State University Salem State University is in the same place where the 17th century Salem witch trials took place. Oh man! So it's not too surprising that there have been some hauntings there over the years. It's not surprising at all, you're right. One of the buildings in the university called the Bowditch Hall. You Bowditch, Bowditch, I'm Bowditch, Bowditch. The Bowditch Hall is believed to be the most haunted building in the university, and a few supernatural occurrences have happened in room 222. Apparently a ghost story told by a bunch of students about a triple murder turned out to be a reality, or so it's believed to be by some of the students. Reports of loud banging noises have been heard from the halls of the room. Even scarier than the odd noises is the uncontrollable shaking of the bed in room 222. Apparently the shaking is so violent that it's reported to have thrown its occupants from the bed to the floor, and no one can explain why. I'll tell you why. Ghosts. Number 6. Rose Hill Campus Rose Hill Campus is located in New York City and has buildings that look like a castle, giving it that haunting and ghost-worthy vibe. Besides looking haunted, there have been reports of some hauntings dating back to 1936. That's like 1975. In fact, one of the buildings at the school, Keating Hall, was built on top of ancient morgue tunnels. Back in the 1970s, a security guard on the campus was taking a break in the building's basement when he saw chairs flying into walls and doors shutting on their own. What? This school is so creepy that it has been used to shoot a number of creepy horror films, including The Exorcist. Whoa, man. Number five, Nian Polytechnic. Nian Polytechnic in Singapore is believed to have been built on an ancient burial ground. Oh, that's never good. A story has circulated over the years that a female student died while working in the engineering workshop. Also not good. Her long hair got stuck in one of the machines. Oh, this is terrible. And no one was around to help. Not good at all. Students living on campus have reported that they have heard bone-chilling screams from that workshop at nighttime. I'm really scared. Number four. Temasek Polytechnic. Temasek Polytechnic is another haunted school in Singapore, and the hauntings seem to occur in Block 18. One of the stories was that the school had an Indian worker on campus, and he died by being buried alive inside a pillar when cement caved in on him. That's terrible. If that wasn't enough, there is a second haunting story of a security guard on campus who saw a student standing at a locker and thought it was suspicious for some reason, so he turned around to go back. When he approached the same locker, he found a newspaper on the floor with that same student's face on it. Apparently, the student was killed in a hit and run months before. Whoa, 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 creepy. Number three, Wells College. Aurora's Wells College in New York has had so many hauntings over the years that in the 1990s, they took some of the most well-known haunting stories that had taken place at the school and added them to their school's archives. One of the archive stories was of Max, a security guard who died while trying to help students escape during a fire that ended up destroying Wells Morgan Hall. It's reported that students can still feel Max's presence roaming the halls, and some have even felt persistent pushes against their bodies while walking down the stairs. Leave me alone. Number two, Pune University. Pune University in India has a stunning campus. The university is surrounded by beautiful trees and the buildings were constructed in a colonial style. Past the trees at the corner of the campus, there is a grave of a woman named Alice Richmond. The inscription on the grave reads, born Melrose, South Australia, November 13, 1856, and died of cholera at this very spot, January 1886. 
However, not everyone has been convinced that she died of cholera, a bacterial infection of the intestines. Some people believe she committed suicide and that she isn't resting in peace. Students and staff have reported sightings of Alice dressed in a white gown, pacing back and forth. Number 1. Willowbrook State School This school in New York, New York could easily be listed as one of the most horrifying tragedies to happen at an American school. Willowbrook State School was originally founded for physically challenged children back in 1947. An outbreak that affected 90% of those children occurred, and doctors took this as a medical opportunity and ran horrifying tests on these poor children and basically made them human guinea pigs. For example, one doctor gave the live hepatitis virus to 60 uninfected students and took notes as the side effects soon set in, giving the children bulging livers and yellow eyes. By the 1960s, the school had a reputation for unacceptable living conditions, and it became public knowledge that the patients were treated like animals and lived in their own filth. Years later, talk show host and reporter Geraldo Rivera did an investigation into the school and discovered that it was extremely overcrowded and that physical and sexual abuse was taking place. Soon after, the school was forced to close. Good. Unfortunately, before the school closed its doors in 1987, a young girl went missing and her body was found on the campus grounds. No. After her death, there were reports of bone-chilling cries and screams through the halls of the campus. If this story sounds familiar, it could be because it's speculated that the stories of Willowbrook State School are believed to be the basis for the TV show, American Horror Story, Asylum.